I want to uh, commend uh, Deputy Holly Kearns for bringing forward this motion and thank all the different uh, deputies from different uh, groupings uh, for the contributions they've made. This is a very important debate that we're having and I think it is regrettable that the government didn't provide uh, time uh, for this debate under their time and that we're having to have this uh, in uh, the very limited time that we have uh, for private members. This motion, and, and the government often say, you know, that opposition parties don't bring forward solutions or they just bring forward proposals that cost money. This motion uh, is constructive, uh, aims to save money, improve uh, animal welfare and redirect uh, much needed resources uh, into other, other areas. This motion is about animal cruelty, but it's also about what we prioritise as a Doyle uh, and as a society. And this isn't a radical motion. Uh, really all we're saying is let the market uh, decide what happens to the greyhound racing industry and that we don't need to prop it up anymore with state subsidies. And in order to, to prop up a failing industry with state subsidies, there should be a very strong case and a very strong rationale for that. I haven't heard that strong case or rationale uh, in this debate. The, the one argument that's been made, I think, that does have uh, a measure of validity, all right, is about the importance in terms of the jobs uh, in this. But if these resources uh, were redirected to another area, we would retain uh, jobs and we would create jobs uh, from that. So that's not a sufficient a rationale for, this, for the state subsidies in this. And I, I am, I have to say, I, I, I don't agree with the, the argument put forward uh, by the Labour Party that we must uh, subsidise uh, this industry in order to be able to scrutinise it. Uh, would, if that argument applies here, would that apply everywhere else? Uh, does every industry uh, have a claim uh, to state subsidies on the basis that the only way we can uh, have regula regulate it and scrutinise it is if, there's, uh, if it's subsidised uh, by the taxpayer. I think that doesn't make, make any sense. And I do think we have to be very cognisant of the impact that this has in terms of gambling, addiction, and the clear power that the lobbying industry uh, around uh, gambling has uh, on, on politics. We do need to take that into, into account. It has been talked about that this is part of our culture and our tradition uh, and our heritage. Now, I don't think we can make uh, decisions around where we prioritise resources simply based on what's happened uh, in the past. If we look at some of the areas that aren't getting resources that they should, uh, I don't think uh, it makes sense in terms of our culture and heritage. I'll give you one, one example, uh, and it's relevant in terms of 19.2 million put into this industry. If you look at people who are, who've become homeless, and if you look at the resources it would take to ensure that people who have become homeless would get a long-term a secure housing first tenancy. Uh, this year it's estimated that those housing first tenancies for the people with the most uh, complex needs, people who've been sleeping rough, people who've been in and out of emergency shelters, people with, with addiction issues, uh, or mental health issues or complex issues, the amount we're going to spend uh, as a state and as a society on long-term housing first tenancies, secure tenancies, uh, for that group of people is 2.9 million uh, in, in this year. With some of these resources, if we were putting that into long-term secure housing first tenancies, we could ensure that everyone who has a need for that uh, could, be, uh, could have their needs met if some of these resources were redirected there. I don't think it's part of our culture and heritage and tradition uh, to have people uh, who, are, who are homeless and who are left in those situations. It doesn't speak to us as a society at all. Uh, and yet this is an area that we're, we're, we're not funding uh, sufficiently. And for the sake of the kind of sums of money that we're talking about here, we could be making very real uh, inroads. So that is the, the choice uh, that has been made uh, today uh, and that has been made uh, by the government just deciding to put uh, additional resources uh, into this industry, an industry which I don't think has a future and it, whose time uh, has come. But in any event, uh, let's just remove the state subsidies and let, uh, if there is a demand, uh, for the industry, and I don't believe there is. If there is, uh, let, let it be self-sufficient, which is the case, of course, with so many other, many other uh, industries. Gurv Margot.